Hi, this is Algebra Data Analysis Probability, and today we were looking, what were we looking at today? Today we were looking at learning our function notation. So once again, instead of writing things as y equals 2 thirds x plus 4, all we're doing instead of y, we're writing a function notation. That's the only difference. The graphing of this, the solving for this, all of it remains the same. This is called function notation. Equation, function. This is uh, translating this into math. We read it f of x. That's how we say that. So what that does allows us to do a number of things. I can say what is the value of f, of f function when x is 2. What is the value of it? Well, what that requires you to do, you can use this function notation to say the same thing. The f function when x is 2, this tells you to, instead of writing x, see how where x is written in these two places? Instead of writing x there, we write 2. Right? When you write the x in, please try to put it in parentheses. It will help you not make mistakes. So here we've got, instead of 2 thirds times x, we've written 2 thirds times 2. Why 2? Because that's what we've written there. Right? Now we just do the arithmetic over here. To find the value of the function f at 2, we just do this arithmetic over here, multiplying and dividing first, and then adding. Four, two, five, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 divided by 3 is 4 thirds, and 4 thirds plus 4 is 1 and a third plus another 4, that's 5 and 1 third. So the value of the function at 2 is equal to that value. I can do that with another number, let's say 0. I just plug in 0 here, f of 0, plug 0 in for x, do the arithmetic. 3, I can plug 3 in here, f of 3, I plug 3 in instead of 2. 3 times 2 divided by 3 plus you get values. And that's how you use the f function. The function can be graphed the same way. Uh, everything's the same. All we're doing is introducing you to an f function. We could also call another function, instead of y equal 3x plus uh, t uh, 5, we could call that the g function, 3x plus 5, and do a similar thing. Function notation allows us to have multiple different functions and not be confused which function we're talking about. If they're both written in y equal, then it's a little confusing. Hey, go to the y equal function. Well, there's two. Which one are you talking about? But I can say go to the f function, and it's pretty clear that the f function is identified by name as different than the g function. We can have h functions. We can have p functions. We can have... Uh, K functions, and all these things can be different, and we can easily identify each one. Enjoy function notation. It's not much different than what we've been doing with equations. We're just giving a different name to be able to help identify functions and find values for them at different x's. Uh, go to those problems tonight. Practice well. Uh, we are the Ask Academy.